Father, Mother God, we ask this time to bring the highest information in for all of our soul growth. As always, Father, surround us with your love, light, healing, wisdom, and truth. We call forth the energy of Mary Magdalene and Jeshua as they step forward to bring their words of wisdom, healing, and guidance. And as we step forward into this sacred union, merging into our soul contracts with our soul pods, may we now begin to expand the energy and the essence of our true mission here on this earth plane. In this we give our grace, and so it is. Greetings, dear one. Yes, it is I, Christ. Mary Magdalene is here as well. We say to you, dear ones, that it is of great importance that you begin to understand at this time the power of connecting into sacred partnership, not only with your own individual self, but with your soul group and your soul pods. There are many here on this earth plane who are now coming in unison with their soul families and with their soul pods to merge into their sacred mission. Just as we have spoken about the twin flame reunification, where the twin flames are coming together to complete their sacred mission upon the earth plane, there are groups of individuals of soul families that are coming together to complete their earthly mission at this time collectively. This does not always mean that it is a part of your individual families, but it could be or can be, but it is also with others that you may or may not know, for the soul pods and the soul groups may have or have chosen to incarnate together in the same location, in the same family, and yet there are other soul tribes, soul members, that are part of the soul pods that are working in conjunction the same soul mission in a different dimension in a different part of the world and so each of you are coming together etherically to step forward to hold the template for your sacred purpose and your sacred mission together each of you on this call today are part of the same soul group or the same soul pod that are serving the collective. For you individually and collectively, you're all holding an energy of what we call compassion. It is the energy of compassion that is being brought forth through your individual collective soul groups that are holding the strand of compassion for the world, its people, and all sentient beings to return to love. It is of great importance, as you understand at this time, that the light that you hold, the love that you hold, the peace that you hold, the energy that you hold as a part of this soul family, this soul pod, this soul group, now be honored. As you begin to honor yourself, begin to honor those individuals, those soul groups that are holding the level of compassion for the divine consciousness of humanity to ascend, holding this frequency, holding this energy of compassion as Kuan Yin is the overseer of your soul tribe, soul pod, soul group. Kuan Yin, Mother of the East, holding the energy of compassion, compassionate action. Today, as Kuan Yin oversees each of your individual lives, it is of great importance that you begin to honor and understand the life that you live and the joy that you bring and the peace that you bring will begin to serve the collective or the earth and all life forms. And so today as you begin to expand your consciousness that you are part of a collective energy that is holding and bringing the energy of compassion, perhaps you'll begin to feel a sense of connection deeper to Kuan Yin, feeling the essence and presence of her energy, of her light, of her love, of her peace, of her joy. 
And so I ask at this time for each of you to take a deep inhaling breath and simply begin to breathe into your heart of compassion. As you begin to acknowledge that you are holding compassion, helping the world now to begin to heal, helping others to open their heart to compassion, to those who have been closed off, out of their own pain, out of their own trauma, out of their own incarnational experiences, from their separation from the great Godhead. This is the time to hold compassion and to remember the joy of living and breathing in the essence of peace. Living and breathing in the essence of joy, living and breathing in the essence of love, living and breathing and holding your sacred heart, your merciful heart, your tender heart with compassion, first for yourself and then to the world. And so at this time, as you honor the light that you hold and the peace that you hold and the grace that you hold, may you feel the remembrance of joy within your heart. Joy to the world, joy to the world, joy to the world. May you begin to feel this essence and presence of peace and compassion upon your soul. As you reconnect again to the soul pods, and the members of your own soul tribe that are here on this planet to help again Mother Earth and all sentient beings to be released and healed from separation. Because you see, so many have heart conditions that have caused them physical pain and suffering. And many have what they call heart wounds that affect their physical heart, causing them physical pain and suffering. It is about opening the heart, having a compassionate and open heart, and living and breathing the energy of love with kindness within your heart, with peace within your heart, with tender mercy within your heart, with joy within your heart. Truly, may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you, wherever you are, God is, and indeed all is well. Begin to breathe in the energy of your compassionate, merciful heart. Begin to open your sacred heart of mercy be compassionate with yourself. Be compassionate with the world. You see all that is happening in the world. There is great suffering and great pain. People are frightened. People are fearful. People are lonely. Many are desperate. So many conditions that are affecting the world. The sense of isolation that has occurred. by people being separate from their families, their friends, their community at large. So many are closing their hearts off out of fear, being afraid of their fellow brother and sister, perhaps being afraid of their own family due to fear that they do not understand fear of a virus, fear of death, fear that continues to close off the heart. And so now as we open our hearts today to expand your heart so that you are no longer holding this energy of fear or separation from your fellow brother and sister, as you begin to expand your heart and open your beautiful and merciful heart. There's no need to be afraid, holding compassion and understanding that all souls are doing as they say the best that they can 
is for you to rise above what you understand is the illusion of fear and live from your heart and as a part of this sacred soul contract as a pod, as a group there are many of you in many parts of the world and in other dimensional frequencies and your galactic brothers and sisters that are holding this frequency of compassion for planet earth and all of her life forms. Humanity can only raise its consciousness at the level that it is able to understand. And as you begin to shift your perspective from fear to love, from hatred to kindness, from misunderstanding to compassion, then you are completing your soul mission. You are working in the higher realms of light, holding this compassion as a part of your sacred mission. For those who have difficulty with this, we ask you to pray to open your heart for those who may be challenging to you, or you perhaps you are becoming angry or upset with others, send them love, send them compassion, send them peace, send them understanding. Each one teach one, each one lead one. As you are rising above the mundane, and living from a place of peace. As you are rising from the mundane and living from a place of peace. May peace be with you, may peace be with you, may peace be with you. May you open your heart to this essence and presence of the love that is. So I shall step back now and allow my Mary to speak. As my mother and I send you our sacred heart, our merciful heart, so you may feel the expansion of your compassionate heart for all the world to see and all the world to know. Go in peace. And we thank you, Christ, and we are forever grateful. And so it is. Greetings, my beloveds. Yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene, as I step forward into this energy field. I ask that you begin to open your heart to the sacred union and the light of all that is. Opening your heart, your beautiful soul, holding the compassion holding the peace, holding the grace of all that is. Opening your heart to the compassion, the peace, and the grace of all that is. Simply begin to breathe in the energy into your soul matrix, breathing into your heart, allowing your beautiful soul now to shine in its brilliance and its magnificence. As you begin to connect to your soul pod, to your soul groups, to your soul family, that you are all connected, that you're all one, that you will begin to find each other, connect to your same sacred mission, and come together in sacred purpose. You are not alone, you are not alone, you are not alone. Just as many of you recall your memories as your collective lifetime as the members of the Essene community. 
and other lifetimes as Atlanteans, Lemurian, Catholic, Egyptian. You come now in this remembrance of your soul as a part of the soul matrix. that is now connecting etherically, energetically to your soul pods. As if you're being directly aligned to these members of your sacred soul family. You'll have instantaneous connection to them. You'll be on the same path. You'll have the same purpose. You'll have the same mission. and you're coming together to complete that which you have come to do. Just as had been spoken, Joshua and I are part of the same soul family. We come together to hold the template of the sacred masculine, sacred feminine template upon the third plane with our beloved daughter Sarah and many others. And we're stepping into this energy, into this frequency. You will begin to attract to you those individuals that will now hold the candle for you to complete your soul, sacred soul contract. There will be people, places, opportunities that will now simply fall into your lap and you will begin to complete your mission with ease and grace. And so Jeshua and I stand with you again holding this template of balance as your soul and your sacred soul contract is held in divine union, divine balance. It's part of why we come here, to help all of you to complete your sacred mission. And we hold the energy and the frequency for all of you to open your hearts open to compassion and to peace and to love and to tender mercy to be able to complete your sacred soul contract that you have agreed so many eons and eons ago you each have your individual missions and you also have a soul mission with your soul pod your soul group not only with your own biological family, but with your soul tribe. And so today as you understand and become more aware that you are part of the whole, that you're not alone, that what you are doing, what you are offering, by opening your heart to compassion, holding the template for others to feel to connect to will assist them to awaken their heart. This is how peace will prevail upon this planet. One open heart at a time. One compassionate and merciful heart at a time. So many have turned their backs, as Jeshua has said, on their fellow brothers and sisters. So much hatred, anger, separation, violence. This is not the new earth energy. This is not the intention of Mother Earth and her planetary mission and contract. Hers was to be a peaceful planet, a planet of love, not of separation, not of fear, not of violence, but of love. So truly may the love of God surround you, the power of God protect you, 
The presence of God watches over you wherever you are. God is and indeed all is well. May you feel the presence and the power of peace. May you feel the presence and power of glory. May you feel the presence and power of love. Opening your heart to compassion. Compassion, compassion, compassion. And so Joshua and I stand with you so that you may feel this presence and this essence of peace upon your soul. No longer being afraid. No longer doubting your purpose or why you are here or even why you came to this planet. Feel the peace, feel the peace, feel the peace. And truly know that you are loved. Love beyond measure, love beyond comprehension. Truly know that you are loved. Feeling the energy, feeling the essence. Feeling the peace, feeling the love. Once again, breathe into your soul matrix. Breathing in the energy of Father Mother God as you return to oneness and feel the peace. And so Joshua and I stand with you at this time as Mother Mary is with us as you hold the sacred light. You're merging with your soul tribe your soul pods, your soul groups for the purpose of awakening the hearts of others. They too may feel their sacred purpose and be at peace. We stand with you, we stand beside you. We hold you in the sacred light of all that is For today, as you enter into this sacred union, I remember union, I remember union, I remember union. You shall begin to feel your heart beginning to expand and feeling the essence and presence of love, even greater within your life, knowing that your heart is open and you are the living vessels of the Christ consciousness. You are the second coming of Christ. You are the beautiful energy of the divine Sophia Christ essence. That is bringing forth this peaceful energy of compassion, compassion and action as the sacred balance of Mother, Father, God now begins to awaken your own soul. Go now with the understanding that all is in order and all is as it should be as you begin to prepare yourself to receive, opening your heart to the joy of truly living in your divine passion and your divine mission and feeling the strength and the unity and the love of all that is. Feeling the strength, feeling the unity, feeling the love of all that is. Feeling the strength, feeling the unity, feeling the love of all that is. Opening your heart to peace. Opening your heart to compassion. Again, beautiful Kuan Yin is with us. She is overseeing this energy for each of you. Let go, let God, let go, let God. And truly allow your beautiful light to shine as you step forward and acknowledge that you are part of a greater purpose of the greater collective energy of all that is. Go now, my children, be at peace, be at peace, be at peace. And truly know that you are loved. 
Love beyond measure. Love beyond comprehension. Truly know that you are loved. Joshua and I stand with you, holding the balance for you. For it is our mission to serve you, to serve the living God, just to serve all souls until all return to balance, until this planet returns to balance, until all souls open their heart to pure love and peace. We've made this commitment and we are serving until that contract is complete. For it shall be, it shall be, it shall be, it shall be. So open your hearts now and do that which you have come to do. Opening your beautiful, compassionate, and merciful heart and connect with us as we all serve collectively to assist this planet as she returns to love. Go now in peace and be still and know that you are God. And we thank you. And so it is.